Okay, so it's like the middle of the night, and I should be in bed right now because it's like almost 3.20 in the morning, and my cousin is getting married today, and she doesn't even live in this town, but I'm not tired at all. I asked my friends what I should make a video about, and my friend said I should make a video about bugs. So I was thinking like spiders, bees, so I'm gonna do like the pros and cons of like six different kind of bugs. Here goes. <laughs> The first one is cockroaches. I hate cockroaches. They're freaking gross. One time me and my friend, Mrs. Reeves, had an encounter with a cockroach that had come into my house. I've never seen these like outside of like bathrooms and public places. Giant roach, like a sewer roach, came into my house and it got onto the shower curtain in the bathroom. This little freaking sucker is in there hissing, making weird noises in there. I went in there with some raid and I sprayed it and it flew off. And I went screaming down the hallway, and then my friend tried to do the same thing, and the same thing happened to her. Like, we were both on the opposite side of the house, like, well, she went back in there and just sprayed this sucker with rage until it, like, stopped moving, and it took, like, 20 minutes for it to die. Giant freaking roach. They're so gross and nasty, and they need to stay out of people's houses. So, the pros for cockroaches are birds eat them, because, yeah, you know what? Eat all the roaches you want. That keeps them from being in my house, in other people's houses. Rats eat them, which helps the rats stay fed so that other animals, like house cats, can eat them. Kind of just helps with the food chain and the cycle goes on. Roaches eat dead and dying things, which traps nitrogen in their bodies and then they just poop out the nitrogen into the soil. And that helps the plants grow because nitrogen is really good for soil and for the plants. I've always heard that once you see like one, one roach, that means there's like another hundred that you can't see. The cons for roaches are they get on my food. They get on people's food and that is gross and they put their nasty little legs which have who knows what on them on my food. They try to eat my food which is not theirs and they just act like they freaking own the place. It's nasty. You know what else? I heard that cockroaches can live off of a human fingerprint. It's like if you leave a fingerprint on like your fridge or like a cup they will eat it. So, and also another thing about roaches, they put them as one of those foods that you see people eating on Fear Factor for a reason. It's because they're gross and they're terrifying. The next one is bees. <laughs> My sister is terrified of them. Like, she will not walk through grass, even if what she, where she needs to go is on the opposite side of the grass. She'll go all the way around if she sees a bee. It's kind of funny. Um, the pros for bees are they pollinate flowers, which is cool. And they keep the planet pretty, which is also cool because I like flowers, and flowers are pretty, and I tried to grow flowers once and I killed them. Maybe if there were more bees around they would have been able to help me, but this was like in November. <laughs> I read about that 70% of the plants that we eat are thanks to the bees pollinating the, the flowers or whatever it is, part of the plant that they pollinate. And that's really good because without the bees, then we wouldn't have like 70% of this food that we actually eat. They also produce honey, which is delicious. I love honey. One time a, um, a student in one of my classes brought honey because she has a beehive that we were able to try and it was really good. It had kind of a tangy flavor, like raw honey has a tangy flavor to it. Honey can be used in bandages, which can help heal wounds like cuts and scrapes and stuff. Now here's the cons. Honey is bad for diabetics like my dad. If you were allergic to bees, a sting can kill you, and I've never been stung by a bee, so I don't know like, if I'm allergic or not, so that kind of sucks. I was taught when I was younger that if you wear a dark color, the bees will avoid you because they like bright colors. They might think that you are a flower, and they can bring all their other friends towards you if you're wearing bright colors, or you have like a bright colored bag or something. So I used to wear black so that I wouldn't attract bees over the summer. I don't step on them though because I know bees are like threatened for extinction. At the same time, I'm also like super fabulous and I should be like mistaken for a flower because I am beautiful. Um, the next one is snails. The pros of snails is they eat the parts of vegetables that people don't like to eat or fruits like an orange peel or a banana peel or like the, the leafy part of a um, artichoke. Snails are hermaphrodites. They can be the mother or father of their snail babies. They all lay eggs. They have really cool looking shells. I always thought that snail shells were cool. It's just that they're so brittle. When I was little, my friends were all like little whack jobs and they taught me that if you don't want a snail to come near you, just bring salt, put a circle of salt around it, or just put salt on the snail itself and it'll just die. So I did that and it was like, it was really cool to me. If you don't like snails, then there's always an easy way to get rid of them. And 
it also looks kind of cool if you're like a little bit messed up in the head. I'm not judging you because it looks cool to me. <laughs> Anyways, the cons of snails is they're slimy and gross. They always like to be right there when you walk outside, sliming up the place, and they end up right underneath where you're about to walk, especially when you're barefoot or wearing just socks, and you step on them and you crush them and you've got like this nasty, slimy, bulbous inside of the shell stuff everywhere and they also can destroy gardens especially if you were like working really hard on the garden they can destroy like all of your good work really fast then the next one is spiders i like spiders a lot i think they're cute i would hold a spider if, if somebody had a pet spider i would hold it um the pros for spiders are they kill and eat harmful bugs uh, helps contain like the spread of diseases like malaria i can't really describe it they look like they're wearing latex black latex black widows do at least and I thought that was really cool. They're shiny and they're pretty and they have like cool looking designs on them. If you're a person who likes solitude, all you have to do, if you're in a room that's being surrounded by people, all you have to do is say there's a spider in there and everyone will leave. Jumping spiders are super cute. They like have giant eyes. They always look like they're super sad. I love all the different colors they come in. And I love how they like hide. And I love how they do that like thing where they look like they're playing a drum like in that one little animated image. They're so cute. If I get a spider, my sister said she's gonna get a snake, and I hate snakes, so. And the cons of spiders are that they, have you ever like walked through like a spider web, you get that ugh, feeling, like you can't tell if like you walk through a ghost or a spider web. Just like this really weird, uncomfortable, like get off me sort of feeling. Some species of spiders, like um, the brown recluse, can kill people, small children, dogs, with a single bite. Black widows can kill small animals with a single bite. This is actually true, and I know it as a fact because these freaking little spiders, the tiny little ones that like you can, they're like the size of the end of your fingertip, they just fall down from the ceiling and they land in your mouth and then they commit suicide and they just slide down your throat. Swallow like freaking eight of them in your lifetime. Like what the frick? Like don't you value your own little tiny spider life? And now we're on to butterflies. The pros of butterflies is they're pretty. They have a bunch of different colors and designs and they're shiny and they're just really graceful when they float around. And you can come up to the monarch trail and you can see all the monarchs covering up the trees and it's really cool to see. And they just come floating past you. You don't want to like touch them or anything, but there's like a billion of them and they're all covering up the trees. And monarch butterflies are really pretty. And butterflies pollinate flowers like bees. That's always good. They are also a sign of good weather. Like if you see butterflies, you know that the weather is good. It might stay good too. And I'm pretty sure like most people had this when they were little, where you got to see like a caterpillar. Uh, do metamorphosis and become a butterfly and that's really cool because it's this entirely different creature like there's this tumblr post i read one time where the little caterpillar like they say like it basically turns into like a soup inside the cocoon and it just like everything like gets reconstituted into like something totally different from when it goes into when it comes out of the cocoon i had such a hard time finding cons about butterflies because they're butterflies they're like these graceful floating beautiful creatures that don't do anything to harm people but there is actually a phobia of butterflies. I don't remember what it's called. I thought about this too when I thought about like fear of butterflies. Like if you ever like walk outside to your porch or your or to your back patio or whatever it is you might have and you see like a moth flying around your light and then suddenly it goes right towards you like dive bombs you and you duck and you run back in. That's kind of like what I assume the fear is like. Um, mosquitoes is the last one. The pros of mosquitoes is their food for other animals, which I pity the other animals because that is gross. I would never want to eat a mosquito. Uh, mosquito larvae, like they're little babies that swim around in pools and stuff. They eat and filter the lakes and pools and whatever else of potentially harmful microorganisms. That's great, I guess. Some people say, I'm not sure if they're actually scientists or people who are smart, but some people say that uh, mosquitoes are attracted to people with diseased or unhealthy blood and they suck out the bad things in your blood, but I'm not sure if I believe that. The cons of mosquitoes is I'm allergic to mosquitoes. They need to stay away from me and you and anyone that you know because that's gross and I don't want you to have mosquitoes near you ever. Mosquitoes carry dengue fever, malaria, West Nile, and Zika, which would be scary if I got any of those because I don't want to have an allergic reaction and suffer from any of those things. You should never trust a mosquito. Ever. Anyways, that's all. That I had to say about these bugs. In the comments, tell me about your favorite species of bug, insect. I know there's like a mixture of different kinds of things like arachnids, bug, insect, beetle, whatever. Tell me your favorite species of bug and the pros and cons of it. 